A mayonnaise. Okay, so here we are. We're gonna Sean Janocki, hi, record producer to the stars, and I are gonna make a mayonnaise. We've got three egg yolks, which I've cracked into this bowl. And here we've got some mild and light olive oil. And as we said before, we're not using vegetable oil because vegetable oil is evil and harmful. So here's what we're gonna do. I am gonna whisk, just like this, and Sean is gonna pour the oh, oil yeah. in. And the trick to this is you want the slowest dribble of oil, the thinnest dribble you can possibly do. The moment it starts to glug in, it's gonna split. So Sean- Small dribblers. Make me the the dribble of the dribble of the gods. The, the thinnest dribble there is. That is perfect. Keep dribbling. Have a steady hand. I'm going to tilt this so that people can see. This is good. You see, this is why we need to evolve to have three arms. I agree. Because if I could hold the bowl and the whisk and the oil, I could do this more easily. Or you can learn to stir with your feet. You can learn to stir with your feet. But one, the reason that I put this wet tea towel under this bowl is so that I can put the bowl down and just use one hand and it's not slipping and sliding around, which is what would happen otherwise. That's a little, it looks like it might be going a tiny bit fast. Do you want it to continue to pour a bit slower? Yeah, continue to pour, just, just the trickle. Dial it back. Yeah, dial it back, Janocki. Here we go. Don't get all, don't get all sort of, you know, patience is the name of the game. The moment you look at the bottle, never look at the bottle. If you look mm. at the bottle, you're going to see how much is in there and think, oh, have I got to get through all this? We haven't actually got to get through all that. But we, if we split, then we're going to have to go back to the beginning. To start again, do you? If you split. Yeah, if you split, what you can do is take your split mixture and very, very, um, slowly try reincorporating it with a tiny little spoonful of warm water but it's much better if you don't split it what i would actually do if i split this is get the electric whisk out and chuck that away and do it again with the electric whisk so that it was a little bit quicker and my arm didn't start to ache mine's aching a tiny bit but is no. yours aching is it tiny bit well it's holding it in exactly the same position for my yeah. i'm standing jack <laughs> yeah your posture's terrible, your mayonnaise posture's all wrong. It's all over the place. Now, Sean, I'm going to start to stir a little bit faster and you can start to pour a tiny bit, a tiny Just bit a more. Tiny bit yeah, because we're looking quite good now. So you win. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to go for How's the, my the risking thing. You see, Captain Picard was making mayonnaise. He'd have, at, at some point, there'd come a moment in the episode where he'd have to take a risk, wouldn't he? He'd have to, he'd have to chance it and we're gonna chance it. If this video suddenly cuts, and it, and we suddenly cut to a shot of a, of a really good looking mayonnaise with a dirty electric whisk on the side, then you'll know what happened. Blue Peter. Blue Peter. Blue Peter. The joke there is that there's, for those of you in America, we have a TV show called Blue Peter. And what they would do is describe how to do something, and then they'd say, here's one I made earlier. They'd make a pig's ear of it, and then say, oh, here's, no, one, here's I one I made earlier. earlier. It's perfect. And they always used to do that on cooking shows as well. They'd put, they'd put like the big tray with all the stuff into the oven. And as they put it in, they'd take one out that had already been in there for three hours. I feel I need to up my flow a little bit, Jack. Up your flow, but I'm not up my mix. Sludges. It's good. So three egg yolks can emulsify a lot of oil. You're right, it's all just completely going, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, you've got a big shoulder. Let's go. My shoulder's big. Yeah. That's a light olive oil, right? That is a light olive oil. And you it has... Not, why not a dark one? Right? It, because it will be really bitter. So it will taste, it'll taste it, it in will the taste, mayonnaise. Yeah, it will taste really bitter. This one tastes of nothing. Hang on, let me just see, because I think we might be in a good place. Look, it's basically soft. Let's go with this, yeah? Okay. Swipe a finger into that and have a taste. And what you'll find is that it basically tastes bland and a taste of oil. oil. Yeah. Taste of oil. Yeah. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put 
Mutant. A small amount of Dijon mustard, and this one, the Dijon, the Mutant de May, is the one that I like for this. So, a teaspoon, okay, to start with. And we're going to do about a similar quantity. A cap. Of white wine vinegar. Cap of the vinegar? Mm, maybe not a cap. I might go half a cap. Half a cap. To start with. And. More you salt. A bit, so that's actually cool. Redmond salt, okay. Redmond real salt. I'm gonna put a little sprinkling of salt. And have you, passed, have you, have you crunched that? No, nope. this just comes like that. So, I'm gonna mix that up now. Dip and flip. Dip and flip. Much better. Still a little bit bland. Still a little bit bland. Thought it might be. Let's go another little of mustard and then the yeah. same again yeah same again on all i would say just try doing that don't go too far folks yeah. or you'll be back to oil and mixing let's see what's doing now i'm gonna try it as well pretty good it's all right it's not acidic enough no same. now what i'm gonna do it's not salty enough either mm. what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna Scrape the pips out of this other half of lemon. I'm going to give this a little squ oh, pips. In, in squidge, pips. Two squidge pips. of lemon. Double. But we really do need to be a bit careful. Tips over really quick. Yeah, and also the other thing is if you're doing this yourself and you've just put a load of salt in, see my hands are now covered in salt and lemon juice. If I taste that, with my finger. It'll be like yum. This is why chefs use spoons. But we're not using spoons because we're not chefs. But be careful, yeah, don't don't taste what's left on your hand and then assume that that's what it tastes like. Mustard. So put a bit in taste, put a bit in taste. More lemon. Yeah. Try a bit more vinegar now. It's better. Yep. Yep. That's good. Intense. 